Richie, thanks for joining us. Congratulations. Just how proud are you of that performance? I'm proud of all the players. The, the, the last five or six games has been an accumulation of what we've been doing all season, but we, we haven't been able to play that we, the way that we wanted to play. We haven't been able to get certain players. I thought Max Sanders was excellent. Dan Aggie was excellent. But we haven't had them players available. Um, and I also think that it was probably a good time to play Portsmouth because they've just lost Robertson, who, who, was, who was an excellent player. You know, and we started well and we didn't give him any breathing space. The kickoff was excellent and got us up the pitch straight away. You know, and we, and we pressed him and he, and he couldn't really play through us. He, he had a few chances in the first half with a penalty and, and with Bishop's header, but, you know, we, we had quite a few opportunities to, to score a few more goals. So I'm really proud of the players. I thought, they, like I said, you worry when you go away to Bolton and, and after nine minutes you're 3-0, you want to see a reaction. I know what my reaction is going to be, right? 3-0, I know what some of our supporters are thinking. They're thinking, oh, well, this could go to 4-5-6. But in my head, I'm thinking, how can I get the next goal? How can I get the next goal to change the outlook of the next five, ten minutes? And we've done that and we got it back to 3-2 and we took massive confidence from, from that game. And then we've obviously beat Cheltenham and Charlton and Cambridge and then obviously come in here, which is, which is a tough game, a tough environment, but an environment that that we've learnt from in the Bolton game and, and, and took it. I thought I, I won 2 11 today and then the subs that came on, every, everyone contributed, everyone was excellent and the work rate was, was brilliant as well. Four straight clean sheets and then very good penalty save from Sol Brin. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure. I, I, I'd have to see it back. I'm not sure it was a penalty if, if he caught him or not. I think Shaq is trying to tackle the space, if you, if you know what I mean. Um, and that was a... There's probably two real pivotal moments of the game. The penalty miss and our goal just before half time. Um, we've been getting we've been getting better from set plays, but I have to say we've been getting we've been getting better from set plays because our delivery to, delivery is now now on on point where we want it to be. And Theo's delivery today was was right on point, and we managed to score from two set plays. It was a heavy defeat that Portsmouth inflicted back in August. Just how much of a benchmark about how far you've come was today's result? Oh, so I turn around to Matty today. And when, when was our first goal, Tom? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. I turned around to Matty after 20 out, 28 minutes and said, we're miles better than these, but it's reminiscent of the game that we played at home. It was never a 4-0 defeat. We should have been in the lead. And then all of a sudden today, we, we just took the goals at the right time. You know, if you take, if you take your goals at the right time, it gives you confidence, it changes the, the mood of, of, of this place, of, of the supporters who have to say stuck with them. Um, and then obviously... So the penalty save was a big moment because if it would have gone to two one, then then this crowd would have been would have been right up for it. And obviously the goal before half time. So the harder you work, the better instructions you you listen to and you take on board and you do, then you earn your luck. And we had a little bit of luck with the penalty save, although it's a good save. Um, I think we we deserve the we deserve the three points. And Shaq Ford is really developing, isn't he, as a player? Yeah, I mean he could have scored with his, with a with a kick off of his first touch, but. Um, no, again, he's a player that he's a young player, and after 25 minutes, I thought I thought he was outstanding. He then gets his goal after 30 minutes, and then he just wants to show everyone how good he is for 10 minutes. And that's what happens with young players, and they make the wrong decisions. That, that's why I think Ports are a really good team. Experience all over the pitch, make the right decisions. You got Pack and Morel, then you've got Lowry coming on. Really good footy players that that make the right decisions, and we're trying to get to that level. I still would like us to calm it the game down a little bit more especially in the final third and have more possession around their box but we, we are getting better Jordan Brown and Dan Ajay took their goals well I mean I, I didn't I couldn't really see if it was Brownie's goal um, but Dan's really good at that you know he, he gets a flight of the ball early and he's very good, good at coming across we've seen him at Crew do it a few times and he's really good at getting across people and, and glancing the ball in so I think he knew a little bit more about his than, than Brownie did Max Sanders OK? Yeah, he just had a stomach bull going, obviously. That, to be fair to them, they made a clever change and went to a system that, that causes our system a problem. And I probably should have changed it um, probably five minutes early. It just, they just got to our final third too comfortable. And when you play against this team and they cross it and they've got Bishop in the middle, you need to, you need to negate them for it. So I probably took five minutes longer than I wanted to in terms of, of making a change or the change of shape. Sorry, Dave. Um, but when we matched them up and, and changed our shape, whenever we've done that in the past, it's been effective. And I thought it was effective in terms of making a game a little bit scruffy in the last 20, 25 minutes and, and not allowing them any any real... I can't remember them having a chance in the last 25 minutes. So, you know, we, we didn't need to take any risks. It was, a, it was a... You know, I'm having a conversation with Matt Harold that I didn't feel comfortable, but when the ball turned over, we looked like scoring the fourth. And I let it ride a couple of times and we didn't get the fourth and it was like we, do, we didn't need to take the risk because... 
like I say, I've been here before and, and as a manager and one goal can change it because behind that goal, especially when the, when the shooting to that end, it can it can change the thinking of players and, and players can shrink and I didn't want any any momentum shifts. Over a thousand travelling fans and they enjoyed it, didn't they? Yeah, I mean, I, we give them a performance that they, that can, proud, they can all be proud of the players um, and it's great that the... the um, the supporters at the end and singing right till the death all of them stayed unfortunately I will not be giving them fist pumps I see people doing fist pumps when they're 15th in the league that's not me I'll give you a fist pump when we win the league like I did last year not that we're going to win the league this year <laughs> I would say, but I just think that he's you know it's a proud it's a good performance brilliant day for us but I'm very I stay consistent in the, in the way that I work in terms of performance levels in terms of I don't I'm not one for going out I'm having a little bit of a laugh and I enjoyed it but please don't ask me to do it because I'm not going to do it Another big test on Saturday. Now, Bolton's game wasn't finished today because of a medical emergency at the ground. I um, wasn't aware of that until you just told me. Um, so, listen, I don't know. How, how long did the game go on for? I, I, I think they played about 20 minutes. Was it? So, listen, it's one of them. We've had that situation this, this year where it's not, it's not nice at all. So, whoever it is in the crowd at Bolton, we wish them all the best. And hopefully they're, they're OK. Um, you know, brilliant football club. We had a tough test in the first 10 minutes. But I think we're a different team. I think we've grown from that. So um, it's going to be a bit, it's going to be an hard game. But it's one that we again we look forward to. It. Finally, for me, any comings or goings before the visit of? No, I spoke to oh. I spoke to obviously Tom and George yesterday and Brandon Cooper, who we think will help us in terms of freeing up a loan and being a permanent. Um, I think that would be a good signing for us, and um, maybe also a wide man might come in um, early next week. I just think that. Again, we're flogging for you. He plays 90 minutes every single week and it can be tough. I, um, what I want to do is I want to get more, more energy in the, in the team so we look more comfortable in the last 20, 25 minutes of, of games.